Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Oil prices continuing to fall right now. In fact, they're trading at their lowest level since the end of 2021. Last week, oil prices fell 10%, the worst weekly decline since April of 2020. So what does that mean for gas prices? Well, AAA reporting the average price for a gallon of gas right now is 344. That's down about three cents from last week. Diesel stands at 428, down about six cents from the previous week. So will prices continue to fall ahead of planting? Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us with more. Clinton, it's hopefully good news for farmers heading into planting. April futures of West Texas Intermediate crude oil traded as low as 64.21 per barrel on Monday before bouncing, which was nearly $40 off the high set May 6, 2022 at $103.21. Now, these are 16-month lows and have come as a result of the banking crisis and macroeconomic concerns that have spilled over into the equity sector. However, energy experts say global production has increased and is now exceeding demand as Russia has been able to keep production fairly hot. Plus, U.S. oil production has also rebounded post-COVID. So stocks have been building at about a million barrels per day, which could continue until the third or fourth quarter. And that's good news for consumers at the pump. Well, for right now, it actually looks quite favorable. U.S. gasoline uh, production is high and prices are, are continue to be soft. Um, underneath it, when you look at the, the dynamics for refiners, it's still quite profitable. So they're running full steam. Diesel fuel prices have also corrected from record highs at a national average of 425 last week. And Wenzel says the shortage last fall has been solved through increased refining capacity. We've seen in the U.S., uh, ExxonMobil put on 250,000 barrels per day of new capacity, primarily diesel, in its Beaumont facility. And globally, there's several other refinery projects that have come online um, it, for quite a bit of capacity. So there's 3 million barrels per day of new uh, oil refining capacity globally, and that's substantial. Wenzel says refining capacity will exceed global demand by nearly a million barrels. So they expect diesel fuel prices to be less volatile this spring as a result. That's good news for farmers and truckers and will help lower transportation costs, which will trickle down to consumers. Now with the lower diesel fuel prices, Wenzel says farmers can get some inventory secured if they need it. However, he says there's no rush to buy until the banking crisis gets ironed out and we see what the Fed response is.